Hello tribe! I'm super excited, I've been out testing my gear and uh, I can tell you this is the setup, you want to have it because this, dear friends, is the Neverland setup. I say this because I've just changed the motor and I've been test flying it and um, the stock motor is pretty nice it's an 1806, 1806 motor you know 2400 kV and um, I've stuffed it with a 6 inch prop and you can cruise with 2 amps or 3 amps depending on the other flavor and you can launch with about 10 amps so optimal for lithium ion packs 3s 4s maybe not but 3s all the way you'll fly 45 minutes with one pack that's pretty nice so why is this then the neverland setup <laughs> well you can cruise with about almost 2 amps you can launch with 7 amps maybe 9 and you can push the throttle to uh, 100% and end up with maybe 7 amps. <laughs> this setup will fly for always, always. And I didn't test it with 4S, so I'll, I've got a 4S pack coming in soon. And then we'll try again. And now let me show you some details. The wing itself is made pretty basic, aside of that I have made the wings detachable. Detachable so you can pull it off anytime and put it in a bag or in a small casket and just take it on vacation. That's the purpose of it. It is just, let me open it here, it's just set up from the inside. You can see it on that side here. There's some rubber um, things holding the wing and that's it. So the wings can't detach unless you open it up. Um, Maytag F411 uh, WSE. Perhaps this AFC has seen better times. Anyways, it works fine. I love it. Um, yeah, run cam hybrid in the nose. So I'm running 4K videos with this while I'm flying. And um, what have we? Do we have in the back? We have uh, small four LEDs and. Um, these are connected to the flight computer, of course. We got uh, uh, Baitian BN180, pretty neat GPS. Um, we fly Crossfire, this is a Nano RX SE, and we got this bugger in the wing to push the limits a little further. Well, oh, not to forget the iFlight uh, Sigma antenna. Yeah, there it is. This one is pretty nice, you can get this in purple and it has an angled MMCX connector, mine is the normal one. Um, works both optimally. This is the evolution of uh, building a, a wing another time and you'll find all the flaws you had in the first and make it better. I will go inside now and check my footage. Um, unfortunately I forgot the SD card for the Runcan Hybrid. But doesn't matter because I got the DVR footage, so I can show you what the consumption was and how it flew. So top speed was 125 kilometers an hour. It was fully gusty, and it was um, extremely agile with the setup. So I'm pretty pretty happy with that. However, have a look at the footage. Tell me what you like. Let me know.
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome.